My name is Paige Malott, and I'm here to speak with you about integrating high-speed rail stations at airports. Of the 20 countries with high-speed rail systems in operation, 60% offer rail service with speeds competitive with air travel. Trains with commercial speeds of 155 miles per hour or greater are capable of competing with air travel for journeys of 500 miles or less. Currently, an additional 24 countries are planning or constructing new high-speed rail systems in corridors adjacent to airports, including the United States. To better understand the common conditions that have resulted in successful air rail station integrations, I conducted semi-structured interviews with experts who are familiar with the implementation of rail stations at airports. There are also three common conditions in problematic station integrations. First, the airport train station was located too far from the airport terminal. Many airports advertise having an airport train station, but it's located so far away from the terminal that it's inconvenient or unusable. Walkability between the train platform and the airline terminal was emphasized in 100% of the interviews as the most important criteria for air rail connections. Additionally, 92% of examples of problematic station integrations were at airports in the United States where the average distance between station and terminal was 3.4 miles, with the shortest distance of 1.5 miles at Miami International Airport and the longest distance of 7.7 miles at Dallas-Fort Worth. Findings also showed that 100% of participants agreed that shuttle transfers were inconvenient and can range from 20 minutes to 90 minutes for journeys of three miles or less between the station and the airport. Finally, this evaluation has four recommendations. One, build train stations at the airport terminal for seamless transfers. Two, invest in high quality and fast rail services that offer attractive schedules, travel times, frequencies, competitive fares, and connectivity to a wide range of destinations. Three, invest in necessary infrastructure for convenient, high quality customer experience. Facilities should be built or modernized with features that are attractive to customers, including easy to use wayfinding signage and amenities. And four, improve collaboration between stakeholders by coordinating a shared vision and common goals. With many new projects and development stages with funding from the bipartisan infrastructure law, following these recommendations on integrating high-speed rail stations at airports can maximize ridership, environmental benefits, and economic benefits of multimodal collaboration. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.